In this video, I'm going to turn this avocado into an avocado parata. Avocado paratas are the best hangover food that I've ever had. Let's sober up, get comfortable, and make this thing. Welcome to Schmindian, I'm your host Paul Singh, and this is Indian Food Demystified. Today we are solving two problems that are plaguing the overworked, underemployed, and generally hopeless proletariat. Inflation is high, salaries are low, we're out here doing anything we can to survive. We're answering emails at midnight, we're taking gig work on the side, while the generation that invented the three martini lunch is looking at us, pointing their fingers in our face, telling us that we're lazy and broke because we eat avocados? That ain't right. So how do we deal with this? We work all the time, and then what little time we have on the weekend, we have a couple of drinks. Not on company time, by the way, so that we may forget that life is hopeless and that we're currently living through a late-stage capitalist nightmare. And then on Sunday, we deal with our hangovers until the Sunday scaries kick in around 7 p.m. Now, I've designed this recipe to solve three problems. Number one, Sunday hangovers. Number two, what to do with overripe avocados. And number three, the plague of intergenerational wealth hoarding. That one's gonna be a tough one. You bought this avocado with the intention of eating it at its ideal ripeness, and that window is passed. Throwing it away is an admission that the boomers were right, that you are wasteful, that you are disorganized. You can't even keep track of an avocado. What makes you think you deserve a house? That's what they are thinking. But you are smarter than them. You have a liberal arts degree. You need to turn this avocado into something delicious and prove that your generation is worthy of respect. That you are smart, capable, and creative. And you know, you gotta cure your hangover, man. So the key to a great hangover food is fat, carbohydrates, something healthy, and salt. You need the salt to get the electrolytes back in your body. You need the fat to soak up all the alcohol. You need the carbohydrates to fill you up. And you need the healthy stuff in there just to kind of like perk yourself back up. Okay, first things first, we need to chop up our veggies. We're gonna need about a quarter of an onion this size. Here's the paper, just cut it up roughly because we're gonna put this in the food processor. I would say that much ginger, the tip of your thumb. Now normally I would take the skin off with a spoon, but I'm just gonna take it off with a knife real quick. And one little clove of garlic. Uh, skin off. And we're gonna need two cups of spinach. Don't worry, you won't even taste it. And we're just gonna dump all this stuff in. Cut the ginger in half, boom. Cut the garlic in half, bam. Onions go in, spinach goes in, and we're gonna put the avocado in too. So, cut this guy open. The boomers really do think we're broke because of avocados. They actually think that. They can barely use the internet, and they're telling us that avocados are making us broke. It's not right. And just like a couple of tablespoons of water. Boom, there you go. And let's give this thing a whiz. Bing, 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 bing. Go, go, go. Ooh, ooh. Tamp it down. Waz it a bit more. Real smooth. Now we need a big old bowl. Two cups of durum flour, which is a flour used to make rotis. You can get it at Walmart. Now for the spices. This part is key. We're gonna go to two teaspoons of salt. You need the salt because you sweated out all your electrolytes last night on the dance floor. Half a teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon of ajuain, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and half a teaspoon of red chili flakes. A little bit of heat. You know, you gotta wake yourself up a little bit. Tiny splash of olive oil, boom, there you go. Oop, a little bit more. There you go. Give this a little mix. Squeeze in half a lime. And now we fold in our blended ingredients. Slowly add in the water and we're just gonna fold it in with our hands, kind of knead it in. The wet ingredients are not wet enough to make this into the proper consistency. So we're gonna need to add water as well. It's, I've found it's usually about a cup of water, but it depends on how moist the um, avocado was, how much water was in the avocado. So it's usually about a cup, but we'll see how it goes. So here's the thing, if you accidentally put too much water in and it becomes too wet, you can just add some more flour. So it's about the consistency of Play-Doh. So just go back into your deep memories of childhood. You'll know. Put that back in. We're gonna coat it with some olive oil and we're gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes. Back to the olive oil. 
There we go. And we'll give it a nice light coating. So it looks like I used about a little over half a cup on this water. So use that as your judgment for how much water should be in there. Cover it with a towel. We're gonna let this rest for 15 minutes and then we're gonna make some paratas. Drink some Gatorade, eat two Flintstone vitamins, Barney and a Wilma. Take a nap, come back. Okay, back at it again. All right, looking good, looking good. So we are gonna set up a little parata cooking station here. We're gonna need a surface to roll our paratas out. Rolling pin, tava to cook them on. You may not have a tava, which is sort of like a frying pan, but uh, any skillet will do. I need some AP flour, and we're gonna need a bowl with some olive oil in it. So we're gonna cook these with a technique called shallow frying. I'll show you how it goes. We're going medium heat. You want 100 grams. So you roll this guy up on a nice little dough ball. And we're gonna dip it in the AP flour. We're gonna dust our cutting board. We're gonna five knuckle punch this thing. Bam, flatten it out. Bam, flatten it out again. Use your palm a little bit. We're gonna roll this guy out and then just grab some olive oil and kind of drizzle it and then paint, paint it with the spoon. And then you fold it into a square. So it looks like a square like this. Flatten this out and roll again. Fatty, spicy, carby, gluteny. That makes for a great hangover food. Okay, so now on to the shallow fry. Shallow fry is simple. Cook it on one side. So it's about 30 seconds on one side. Grab the olive oil, drizzle and paint. Drizzle and paint. That's shallow fry. So we're giving it a little bit of cooking on one side, hit it with the olive oil. Then we're gonna flip it over, do the same thing to the other side. Okay, let's flip again. Flip again, good. Bam. Okay. There you go. Look at the beautiful color on that. The brown, ooh, it's kind of hot. The brown and the green. Ah, oh, it just looks so good. And it smells so good too. Oh God, I want to eat it right now, but I can't. I got more to make. Beautiful, just beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, we have six delicious avocado paratas, AKA Indian hangover food. So now we have to fix our plate. One cup of Gatorade, yogurt, homemade yogurt for this. If you don't know how to make homemade yogurt, I will teach you. I've either put the video up already for homemade yogurt or I'm gonna put it up soon, but uh, homemade, homemade yogurt is coming. Achar, which is Indian spicy briny pickles. And we're just gonna put it on the side right there. Ooh, look at that color. One knob of butter right on top. Oh yeah. Swipe on the achar, swipe it on the butter. And we're gonna scoop in some yogurt. Mmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh man, that tastes good. The parata has got that gluteny, carby, you know, heaviness, but the achar has that brightness, that brininess that cuts through that. But then the butter has that kind of uh, fattiness. And then here, you get that creamy coldness. The temperature is really important here. It's like creamy, it's cold, it's a little bit sweet, it's a little bit sour. The yogurt is a must for this whole thing. All these elements are a must, by the way. They work so well together, it kind of makes me happy. You can make these ahead of time and put them in the fridge or freezer, and then fry them up. That might be the best way to go. If you're really hungover and you can't function, yeah, make them ahead of time. But don't just take my word for it. Let's ask a boomer what he thinks. Mmm, good. <laughs> you don't have to say it like that. You can be honest. You know? <laughs> okay. That's good, good. Okay, mm. good. Not, not too spicy, not too nothing? No, perfect. Okay. You improved from last time. Okay, well, you can have it then. I've already yeah. eaten. I'll, I'll just finish this. Yeah. This has been Schmindian and we just demystified avocado paratas. If you like this video and you want to see more, then click over here or over here. Have a good day.